Boxing two champions at 145 pounds. We'll trim that down to one. Naya Rodriguez wearing the green and gold. Volkanovski's in the black and gold. Main event's underway. You see Volk trying to switch stances. He doesn't want to give Yair that split stance to open up that body kick. Volk said he's not going to give Rodriguez time to work. Yeah, you're not surprised. He acknowledged that Volk's going to have to pressure. He's got to get past that reach. And that reach when it comes to kicks is very significant. Yeah. Playing with the footwork, Rodriguez goes high, blazes the arm of Volkanovski. That was a fast question mark kick right there. It comes out of nowhere. Volkanovski certainly got a lot of long, talented strikers to work with. In Australia, New Zealand, Blood Diamond was a big asset during this camp. Yep, nice take down by Volkanovski. Nair said that he needed to be very careful with throwing blind kicks because both would take him down. Rodriguez does not need to settle here, though. He needs to try to work his way back to his feet. Get his feet inside, butterfly guard, feet at the hips, something to try to elevate the hips to Alexander Volkanovski. And interesting that Volk is pressing him towards the cage. He's moving him towards the octagon cage. He put him right in front of his corner. Right. And we have seen at times Yair struggle with guys that continuously take him down. Well, certainly back in the day. Yes. Frankie Edgar fight is a great example of that. You hear a corner say they want him square against the cage. They want to limit his movement and just beat him up. Well, somebody just... It sounds like a woman's voice just said, get your feet on his hip and push him up. That's some real good advice right there. Came in clear. Oh, it's Julian Alpena. <laughs> that lady's got a voice. Two minutes here to go in round one. An early takedown for Volkanovski reactively. He's got Yair's head turned sideways, which limits his movement when he's got to press against the cage. Very smart. And you can tell that that's in the plan because the corner of Volkanovski was telling him, smash when he gets out to that side. He's got the cradle. Yair's got him onto a single. Volkanovski is so physically strong. I mean, look at his back. And that was one of the most impressive things, impressive things about the Islam fight. Because Islam is so strong. Yes. At 155 pounds. In fact, that Volkanovski was able to grapple with him successfully, which is insane. He couldn't hold him down. And now Volk's starting to open up with ground strikes here. Already three takedowns secured on four attempts through four minutes. Rodriguez trying to pick his spots with strikes on the triangle. Looking for an triangle. This is, I mean, barely see it from the whole house. If he can clear his hips, this could be real danger. Oh, yeah, you're defended. Last submission win for Volk, December 2015. That's pre UFC. Yep. I talked to Alexander Volkanovsky and I said, I remember when you were fighting back earlier in the UFC career, you fought another kid. If Alex had won a ton of fights for one of the kids, he fought and a ton of fights. What was, was the kid's name? You mean his first loss? You're talking about? No, I'm talking about in the UFC, there was another kid that was from the East Coast who kind of looked like Alexander Volkanovsky. They fought, and it's just so easy for him not to have had the success going forward. But when I looked at him and I said that, he goes, yeah, everything happened for a reason. It was, uh, he's won his entire life. And he starts with another dominant first round by taking Gary Rodriguez down. Pretty significant cut on the left side for Volkanovski. Doesn't appear to be in too bad a place. I didn't see exactly what opened him up. But he had a cut under his, his right eye all week. Yep. He was wearing a band-aid. But this is what Yair needs to do. More kicks from range. 
when Yair gets kicking on the outside. It's, it's just a wild thing to see. Look at Yair's body. <laughs> wow. wow. Volkanovski as yet avoiding those big weapons of Rodriguez. As you said, he had Blood Diamond come in to prepare him for this fight, who fights and can fight in a very similar style. Very unpredictable kick. Yes. Especially if you just strike it with him. Yeah. Right, if you're not taking him down and you're just standing with Blood Diamond, that's tough. Beautiful good low kicks, yeah. Yeah, he's doing a good job of maintaining distance. Very smart. Volkanovski's got to find his way inside the range. And when he's inside the range, he's got to get back to the ground. Rodriguez got oh. to win. A mistake here by Rodriguez. Trying to reach the ground. Rodriguez nearly got away with a fence grab. It matters not. Rodriguez right back up to his feet, though. Very nicely done. He's got to fight the hands. He's got to fight the hands. Volkanovski's well, got to keep working his way towards the back here. He's got to keep that seat belt with the left hand. Beautiful trick. Great job by Volk. Five takedowns on eight attempts under three minutes here in round two. What a percentage. Five of eight takedowns. Crazy for Alexander Volkanovski. Big elbows from the top of the champ. Stop. Okay, right. Rodriguez's toe got stuck in the trunks of Volkanovski for a minute. He's got, I mean, Volkanovski's doing a great job of not letting the Yair Rodriguez start his escape process. He's got to keep that forward pressure going and then change the direction. There it is, he's dragging him to the mat there. He's kind of hanging on Yair Rodriguez. And Rodriguez has been opened up. Get your fingers at the back. That's the last word. Not sure if Rodriguez is cauliflower ear exploder or he got cut by one of those Volkanovski strikes. Volkanovski just doing a fantastic yeah. job of maintaining control on the ground, landing his ground and pound, controlling the fight. Well, we saw him win that quick round against Makachev and keep him down. You know, coming back down to 145, could you imagine all the strength he put on to go up? Maintaining that strength. It must feel like a bear to these guys at Featherweight. That's the fifth defense tonight for Volkanovski. Trying to pass, prevented from doing so by Rodriguez. We've always heard that Volk could wrestle. We've never seen him do it as a first option, or not as much. Tonight he's relying on it, and it's working beautifully. Here's a national wrestling gold medalist in Australia back in the day. One minute to go in the round. And just domination so far from Volkanovski. Oh. Big round of pound by the champion. Oh. A lot of blood on the face of Yair Rodriguez. Yeah, most definitely a cut of some kind around that left eyebrow. I think it's the left eyebrow and also the left ear. Yep. Oh, right hand got through for Volkanovski. Look at Volk's left hand, though. He's kind of holding him in the collar tie. Yeah. And throwing those punches. And yeah, he's trying to roll out, but Volk flows with him. Volk is just kind of big brother in him right now. He's beating him up. They are going to have to do something different in the Rodriguez corner. It has been a bloody night main event following suit. Morning's in there. Round three of a possible five. We'll see if Rodriguez can rally here in round three. He's got to do something big on the feet. Because on the ground, he's getting dominated. Yes. And if he's going to get taken down, he better let it all fly while he's up. Because he has not been able to get back up when Volkanovski takes him down. So he better throw everything he can while he's standing. Great vision by Volkanovski. Seeing these kicks coming. Now Volk attacks the body. Rodriguez with a flurry trying to wrap that kick around. Partially lands it. That's a big right from Volk. 
Volkanovski is one of those guys, generally the shorter athlete has to be the one pressing. He's one of the rare guys that's shorter that can counter you. He does such a great job of creating angles when you enter that he can land and make you miss as a longer athlete. He just did it against Jair. He did it against Max. Max over and over again. Yep. And it was the big difference, the thing that separated them between the fight before that, which was very close. He cut him open with a lot of counter strikes. Volkanovski perpetually switching up his footwork, continuously giving new looks to Rodriguez. Yeah, he's got to open up on the feet. Yeah. You know, when you, yeah, you're expecting Volkanovski to pressure him. Right now, he's not getting pressure. So it's almost freezing him because he's seen the different style of fight and he expected, and he's not getting active because when he does try to go forward, he gets going. Oh, 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 big shot. The champion dodged it. For Rodriguez. Good low kick by the champ. Level change coming from both schools. And just when Joe called for it, Rodriguez starting to open up. Both trying to trap him. Trying, look at that. He's closing distance at every time. He cuts him off, gets him close to the outside side. Trying to set him up to try to get a takedown. Of swings and misses by Rodriguez. Nice elbow from Volkanovski. Good leg kick by Rodriguez. Rodriguez is having a good round. That front kick up the middle is money. Oh, good step in right hook by the champ. All right, back underway under two minutes in round three. Yair has had, Yair has had a lot of success in this round with his, with his kicks. You gotta keep doing it. You gotta just like that. Beautiful More combination. Kicks. That's that Yair style. It is interesting. Volkanovski, he's seen our fighter meeting. Oh, he's done it. Big right for Volk. Oh, Rodriguez really hurt now. Covering up. Massive wow. quick down transition. Volk is going for it. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, he is in real trouble. Yeah, he is. That's it. It's over. Look like her team is trying to close the distance. That would do it. And still. And still. of the world, Alexander the Great Volkanovsky!